Let me show you how to circleize objects, meaning that you can have a flat piece of geometry and then have a cylindrical part that's going to be coming out of it, extruded from that flat plane. And it's a common way to create more complex pieces of geometry that's being extruded from your objects. So here I have a newspaper stand, a newspaper dispenser. And on it, there's quite a few things that you will see that have a flat surface and then have a cylindrical part coming out of it, such as this, as well as one thing on the side right here. And here's a quick reference. If you take a look at it, I have something like this that's coming out of from one side and as well as from the side. And it's a very nice addition to your flat shapes to have the cylindrical part be part of the same flat shape rather than sticking a cylinder right to the side because you're not going to get that nice transition. So to quickly show you on how to do this, it's actually very simple. So I have a duplicated piece where all I have is a flat shape. So the first thing you need to do is switch over to face component mode and select the face that you want to circleize. And then you need to extrude with offset because if you don't extrude with offset, you will destroy your entire shape. So let me show you what happens before. If you select a single face, then go to edit mesh and circleize, you can see that it's destroying your entire shape. So you need to contain the circleize option. You need to first select a face, hit control E to extrude, and then do an offset. So now you can circleize this specific face and contain that circular shape within it. With it selected, after I offset with extrude, I now can go to edit mesh and circleize. By default, I don't have enough faces selected. Usually you would select four faces or more to circleize. In my case, I only have a single face and it doesn't work quite as well, but it can still work if you use the options in the circleize options and increase the divisions. In my case, I'm going to increase the divisions to two. So I get more of a rounded shape. Then I'm going to use radial offset to make it a little smaller and untwist it slightly. And here's my circle shape that's coming out from a flat shape. Then I'm going to switch over to the extrude tool. I'm just going to hit W to exit the circle option. And then I can hit Control E to extrude, add a bit of thickness. And now I have a cylindrical shape coming out of it. And that's all you need to do. Now, of course, the shape is not done. So I'm going to quickly show you a few things that I do on top of this. So since I have a very cylindrical shape that uh, doesn't have enough segments, it's going to be very faceted. And in Maya, these are hard edges now. So I'm just going to simply select these edges. I'm going to hold on Shift, right click hold, and soften them. So now I have a more of a rounded surface. It's still very low poly, but you get the idea behind it. Then I'm going to fix this because right now I have end guns. I could leave it and let automatic triangulate fix this mesh for me, but you can come in and use multi-cut inside the model toolkit and just simply fix this yourself using the multi-cut and triangulate it yourself by fixing all of these end guns that usually get created when you use the divisions on a single quad. And one more, and then we can also fix this end gun right here inside that cylindrical part that's been extruded, like so, just using a multi cut. And now they're all quadded up or triangulated. And now I've switched over back to object mode, and here I have a cylindrical shape coming out of a flat shape. And one more thing if you did want to create additional geometry, a nice transition between the flat shape and the cylindrical part coming out of it. You can just select these edges right here. Let me go ahead and quickly select them. And once you have them selected, hit Control B to bevel. Add a few segments depending on how much of a transition you want, how much of extra geometry. In my case, I'll just do two for this example. Let's do 0.25 of a fraction. And now I have a much nicer transition happening for my cylindrical part and the flat shape. 